Hi, I'm Andy Leonard, and today I'm going to show you a comparison between the free RD client from Microsoft on an iPad compared to Hop2 Work from Hop2 on an iPad. To do this, I'll show you QuickBooks running on both to show you the difference. The first thing we do is open the RD client on my iPad. From here, we now connect you know, to one of my RDS servers where my applications reside. So in this instance, we're going to connect to this server here where QuickBooks is running. Once it's logged in, you now can see you have a complete you know, RD desktop, remote desktop. Unless the application shortcuts are on the desktop, the problem I find with remote desktop is that it's very hard to navigate around to find what you're looking for. For example, if I have to click the start button and then go to all programs, and here I have to find the application I'm looking for. So if I'm looking for Chrome or something, you know, I have to open up and expand the folders. Also, if I want to go to my documents or desktop or videos or pictures, then I have to you know, click Windows Explorer here and then go to documents, etc. So it's quite hard to navigate you know, using your finger on the tablet trying to do these Windows functions. So what I'd like to show you now is opening an application on the RD client for Microsoft. So I double click the app, open the sample database. QuickBooks Pro is now opened on my iPad running through the RD client. So to use the application, you know, it's very similar to using it on a Windows PC. So I have two modes of mouse with the RD client. I have mouse pointer, which means the mouse moves around with my finger. And I have touch mode, which means wherever I touch, you know, the menu or action will, will happen. So if I go to customs at the top, and for example, go to create invoices, you know, now it will create an invoice. But the problem with the RD client that it's very hard to use. You know, if I want to try and get this drop down box, you know, I've tapped it three or four times then just to get the drop down box to appear. I could go back to mouse pointer mode and maybe select one of these. And it does select it. If I go down to description, and now there's a note field. But for me to type in the notes, I need to bring the keyboard up. Now I need to scroll. But I can't scroll in mouse pointer mode, so I need to turn the keyboard off again and put touch back on. Then I need to hit description, hit keyboard, scroll up. Now I should be able to type. So I tap on description again and say test. Then I turn keyboard back off. So as you can see, when typing into an edit field using the RD client, the keyboard does not come up automatically and is a manual process which can get quite annoying. So now we can save and close. To access the different mouse pointer modes you need to click on the host name at the top. Then from the right menu bar that is displayed you need to click on the bottom right hand corner here. To get back to the application just tap anywhere in the middle of the screen like so. The other feature I'd like to show you with the RD client is a zoom functionality. So next to the host name at the top I press this little button and now it zooms in to sort of anywhere on the screen and I have to navigate using my finger on this little arrow here and as you can see it's really really hard you know buttons keep getting pressed by accident and it's just hard to zoom to where you want to to where you want to be so all in all, you know, the RD client to me is very, very hard to use. You know, hard to navigate, hard to use a Windows application like it was running, you know, on your Windows machine. So we come out of QuickBooks on the RD client, and now we're going to show you the same application running in Hot2 Work from Hot2. So to access Hot2 Work, I click on the icon on my iPad here. Then I connect to the same server we were using for the RD client. Once Hop2 Work opens, you can now go to the Applications tab on the left hand side here. Now you'll notice, you know, in Hop2 Work, you only get the applications that are published to you using the Remote App Manager 
for RDS. So unlike the RD client, where you've got the full desktop, here everything's a lot easier to navigate around. So like I said, here are the applications. And if I go to Andy on the left, now this is my profile. So I can now see my desktop, documents, pictures, music and videos. If I go to documents, you know, I can now see documents I've saved to my user profile on the RDS server. So for this video, I will do a comparison as we did with the RD client and open QuickBooks Pro 2015. From here we open the sample database again. Then QuickBooks Pro opens on my iPad running through Hop2 Work. The first thing I'd like to show you is a max control feature which comes with Hop2 Work. Along the bottom here you can see different menu items like insert, general, editing, activities, close window, exit, maximize, zoom and keyboard. These buttons are created using the Hop2 Work control panel on the RDS server. We have a tool built in where you can customize the buttons, which are basically short keys, to the application. To customize your application short keys using the Max Editor feature, I've remote desktoped onto my RDS server here and open up the Hop2 control panel. From here, I set the application, which is QuickBooks Pro 2015, and I click on Edit Toolbar. From here, it shows you all the Max Control buttons and menu items that you saw in the Hop2 Work application when using QuickBooks Pro. To add a button or menu item, you just click Add Menu, type in the label for your menu, and then click on Add. If you want to add a button to the menu, you click on the menu on the left here, then you just click on Button. Type in the label of your button, then put in your short key. You know, for example, Shift M or something like that that does a short key action within the application. Once you've created all your max control buttons and menu items, you can now click apply and this will save this as a template on the Hop2 host which can be transferred to any other Hop2 implementation. So on the RD client, you know, if we wanted to create an invoice or something, we'd have to go up to customers at the top and do create invoices. But as you can see here, you know, create invoices is control I. So in Hop2 Work, if I click on activities at the bottom here, you can now see a second menu item appear. And from here we have create invoice. So that create invoice is basically doing control I, but we've predefined that using the Hop2 control panel on the RDS server. You can do this for all applications, all Windows applications running through Hop2 Work, and the template created can be copied you know, between servers. I also want to show you the Zoom functionality in Hop2 Work. In the RD client you saw that it was pretty unusable and very hard to zoom to where you were typing or wanted to be. In Hop2 Work if I tap down on a drop down box, then automatically you know, the keyboard will come up. And if I want to scroll now up you know, I can just scroll up to wherever I want to see on the screen. We also have the zoom, enable and disable button at the bottom here. So if I enable it, it always zooms in to where I actually am. If I disable it, it puts it back to full screen. So so much easier to use than the RD client. Also from the toolbar along the bottom here, there's an insert button. If you press insert, you can either insert an image directly from the iPad camera or you can scan a barcode that you can insert into your application. This is our Max Cam feature, which is also part of the Hop2 Work product. Also, if I want to close Windows or even exit the application, you know, I can easily do this by using the buttons in my Max Editor toolbar. So I'd hit Close Window here. You now we'll close the window within the application. Now if I want to exit the application, you know, rather than trying to go up to File and Exit. So instead of doing that, I could just hit exit at the bottom here, this is predefined in my toolbar. This will then close the application down and take me back to my applications list on my Hop2 Work application. And from here, you know, I could open up other applications. And each time you open an application, it creates a new tab at the top. So you can switch between the applications really easily. To finish off the presentation, there will be a slide showing links to videos on our YouTube channel showing you how to install the Hop2 Work agent 
and also a video of how to install the Hop2 work application on an iPad. Thank you for your time today and hope the video was informative.